Hi guys, thanks to come over to my channel. I'm Angie from Germany and I would um, talk about today uh, about Buku. Bukshulun Ganborget from Mongolia. Yesterday I was on YouTube and I was scrolling here to there and I have seen him or found him on a video and I was so much impressed that I found something else I want to show you and I want to react on it because it is something I have never heard before in this way and I never was in Mongolia I never heard this kind of music from Mongolia and I would share it with you now that we can see it together and um, understand maybe more of the um, of the traditional music there and how fascinating it is so let us start see what it will bring us and how deeply goes it inside let us start What a voice. There are like the singing bowls. He do with his voice what other do with their singing bowls. Unbelievable. No instrument, only his voice. <sighs> he is awesome. Awesome. Oh. Thank you. How sweet. He looks like it's so much nice, man. Innocent and in how we speak. Uh, hi everyone. And uh, I came from Mongolia and uh, I just showed the uh, Mongolian folk singing. And I quick introduced my instrument as well. And uh, this is called the Murnkhur. Marisian horse, or is horse it head fiddle. Is called horse head fiddle, <laughs> or horse hair fiddle. There's two strings. Looks like um, ah, just string, but it's horse tail, and um, bow is horse tail, and which mean I <laughs> horse tail with horse tail. <laughs> it's so funny and nice. And. Um, so I would like to sing with you now from the center till end of the left hand side. Please sing this note. Oh. Place. 
That reminds me of the cliffs of um, Ireland. When we uh, stay at a beach up and see at the sea, that is a sound to see far, far away. It gives uh, feelings of um, eternity. Clear and compact. Oh. Wow. Goosebumps, huh? He enjoys so much. It's a nice smile. Thanks everyone, thanks Ted and uh, thanks all of you for listening to my music. Wow, well, huh? So um, that I wanted to show you. It was um, an audience on stage in Sydney from 2016. Budu was there on stage in this great arena place and um, one man only with his horse fiddle um, has a complete um, 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 I have no word <laughs> I'm sure they blow them all away he blow them all um, Attention, yeah, yes, the full attention of them. Um, really, really special. His voice is awesome because he can do so much different, different, different things with his voice up, down, like this timbre, this uh, vibration in it. Like he do not need any kind of instrument, but he has an instrument, but he never need, uh, uh, use it both together. He never use his fiddle and his voice, only his voice, or his fiddle. And he make it in a so much respectful, nice way to show the world um, what is the old, old culture from all, from ancient times, from Mongolia. Um, I'm sure they, they, it's um, from really far back. Um, I've never heard like this in so much beautiful and um, there's nothing what we have to understand only to feel and how it goes inside because like a singing bowls it goes directly in our bodies we feel it in this way it's make, make let us make shaking um, really really beautiful and uh, I, I do not know why he came to Australia if he goes around the world if he is one of the best one, in my opinion, he is. Um, it's great to have him, and um, in this way, that um, someone who has 
this kind of voice and is so much respectful to others and innocent. Maybe he comes from the countryside on a field and um, never learned to be in other way because he is open for everything and that is what he shows, that he likes to show his mentality, his nation. I'm sure he's so much proud of his nation and to give the world something from his nation and he do, he really do. Um, I told one time here that it reminds me of um, Irish music to see over the sea, to see far, far away, it's open the heart, in my way of, in any case, I love Irish music as well and um, in my opinion there is no sea around Mongolia, I do not know, but Mongolia is for me a big mountains and field for farmers or only for animals in this way and I go from here to there and have a um, life of freedom, a small life, a hard life, but it is um, in, in the balance with the nature and they live with the nature and the animals and uh, everything is in this way perfect. For sure they have um, now uh, bigger towns and more western life or life, modern life, but uh, the old culture is still there and it is so much beautiful to see how they um, protect this culture and what I can see in this music from the old culture. So um, that is my reaction for Buku. I really, really appreciate him and I'm so much happy that I have found him yesterday um, by luck. And um, I hope I can see more of him or others. Uh, please give comments if you have someone from your country who is really special of all tradition, fascinating music I have never heard. Um, I would love to hear and to react on and please um, subscribe my channel, come over and comment, give comments on Instagram or Twitter. I would love to comment as well. And I hope you will see us again on this channel. Um, bye for now. Yours, Angie.